I think it's amazing that Eric's come back to Auschwitz at all, but I certainly wouldn't expose him to this next bit. If he turned left instead of right, he'd have come here. It's the gas chamber. Because you know the history of this place and what happened in there, it's just almost beyond belief. You can see where the, the gas would have been dropped in. You can imagine them screaming, terrified, gasping for air, desperate to get out, fighting over each body to try and get that last little gasp of air. It's just monstrous. The dead would have then been loaded into these furnaces and incinerated. The chimneys were burning. There were four chimneys burning day and night. So did you, when you saw that, that black smoke coming out of the chimneys, did you know what it was? No. Somebody told me, these are the gas chambers and these are the crematoriums that killed the people that arrived here. But the Nazis' grip was weakening. By January 1945, the Soviet Red Army was advancing on southern Poland and Auschwitz. Did you begin to think just maybe the war was coming to an end? Yes. We've seen about 500 planes, bombers, fly low. Over Auschwitz? Over Auschwitz, yes. And also we've seen tanks going back on the way to Germany. So it looks like they're leaving Poland? Yes. And we could hear a Russian artillery from a distance. On the 27th of January, 1945, the Russians finally liberated Auschwitz and were horrified at what they found. Prisoners were helped to freedom, but Eric wasn't among them, because a few days earlier, the SS had started evacuating the prisoners at gunpoint. And they just took you out of the camp? Yes, uh, minus 25 degrees. Snow? Heavy snow. snow, heavy snow. And we were in pyjamas and in clogs. And we marched. And they say we're taking you to a different camp. How many people are we talking about? Hundreds. I mean, everybody would have been very weak by then. They were. fall by the wayside. And the body which couldn't walk was shot in the back of the head, and the body was thrown on the side of the road. And what did you have as supplies? Did you have food? Did you have water? What did you have? No, absolutely nothing. The Germans were in retreat, which meant fewer and fewer camps were available. For three months, Eric and thousands of other Auschwitz prisoners were moved from camp to camp. This remarkable amateur footage shows Auschwitz prisoners in coal trucks. They were being evacuated west through Czechoslovakia. What do you remember about your last journey? They put us onto a train, open wagons, yeah. no roofs, and we ate grass, we cooked grass, and uh, I also ate my shoe. You ate your shoe? And I cut it and I uh, burned the leather and... Well, that, was, uh, that was food? That somehow yes, sustained yes, you, eating a yes, shoe? Yeah, just bits of leather and... Um, so you were desperate by yeah, that? Yeah, very desperate. They gave us no food. Most people died on the journey. Yeah. 